Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Caglioni Group has confirmed that they are working to develop 105mm Super Ultralight Howitzer, which incorporates hybrid recoil technology, and it will bring the weight of the system to just 3.2 tons. The Super Ultralight Howitzer will have nearly half the weight of M777 Howitzer, and it can be easily airlifted by helicopters and dropped by parachutes. According to reports, the Super Ultralight Howitzer should be ready for field trials in the next two years. The use of lightweight mobile artillery systems could also be a requirement for India's Cold Start Doctrine, where the Strike Corps have to operate in short duration. India's indigenously developed all-weather beyond visual range air-to-air -air Astra system had recently been cleared for limited production, and according to latest reports, the pre-production samples ordered by the Indian Air Force will be getting an indigenous seeker, which have already been tested successfully, which will replace the Russian active radar seekers. The development of the Astra Mark II variant can also be cleared soon, and it will incorporate an indigenous imaging infrared seeker with dual wave band imaging infrared seeker, which can dodge any countermeasures deployed by the target aircraft. The dual variants of Astra systems will provide a high level of tactical flexibility with multi mission and multi target beyond visual range capability. Even though the F-16 Block 70 offered to India is the latest version with extended range, there is an unease in certain quarters about its induction in the Indian Air Force, since the Pakistan Air Force already operates several squadrons of older F-16. According to experts, the major downside of having the F-16 on both sides of the border, is that the air defense systems will have a very hard time, especially when the fighter jets are on a mission with their identify friend or foe systems switched off. Manufacturing the F-16 in India comes with a challenge, as the defense import lobby might use it as an excuse to shut down the Tejas program. According to a former chief of the Indian Navy, most of the problems faced by the Tejas aircraft arises from the lack of engine thrust, and even as the cavalry engine has failed to make an appearance, the US made alternatives like the General Electric F-404 and F-414, do not deliver the adequate thrust for the Tejas Mark I. It is vital for the country to develop a family of indigenous jet engines, as the medium-weight fighter and the AMCA will require engines of much greater thrust. The success of the cavalry engine and Tejas aircraft will transform the Indian aerospace scene, and if it is not carefully guided, protected and nurtured, their failure could derail the country's aeronautical industry. In a demonstration of India's Act East policy, the Indian naval ships INS Kolkata and INS Shakti have arrived on a three-day visit in South Korea. This visit is a part of the deployment of the Eastern Fleet to the South China Sea on 28 April, and the Indian naval ships will also participate in the maritime security field training exercise in South Korea. The ships will sail towards Singapore, and will also participate in the Singapore-India Maritime Bilateral Naval Exercise Simbex 2019, and the International Maritime Defense Expo 2019.